Hey guys, here's another budget with me video. And um, this is for the pay period of November 14th through the 27th. Um, that was last pay period that we went through. And these are the remaining bills for the month, all listed out with the due dates. Student loans, um, the due date is changing and I think it is actually in December. I have it here just in case and we will have the funds if we need to. Uh, pay them, but I need to get the actual due date, and I think it's going to be in the beginning of December. Um, so it actually come out on this one, but um, so that's kind of a question mark. But I have it there just in case, so you can ignore that for now. Um, all right, so um, we have Allstate for car insurance and renters insurance. We have the Chase card. We have the car payment the gyms for my husband and I, and um, rent for half the month, and then we have our um, envelopes. Food, 200, eating out, 20, gas, 100, and Emma has 10. Um, last week, we actually didn't use that much gas, despite me going to an interview that was pretty far away as well, so that was a positive. Um, so we actually probably won't use that whole 100, which will be nice. Um, yeah, so it's a very, very tight month. Uh, my husband's work is still not offering any overtime. And um, most of our snowball comes from his overtime. And then obviously I am still off work. I was actually scheduled to go back on Monday. They forgot to put me on the schedule. I called yesterday. They said they just don't have any room for me. It's not the end of the world. I suppose somebody who actually relied on the money <laughs> would um, throw a fit about it, but I'm just going to let it go. I have another whole week off. This one will be unpaid, but I'm going to um, make at least what I make at my um, job on um, on Mechanical Turk this month. So, or, or sorry, not this month, but um, I'm going to make at least that next week uh, so that I can uh, make up for it. That income will be on the next one. So um, that's all our envelopes. We funded all the other envelopes um, last week. And as far as uh, sinking funds, we don't really have a lot of sinking funds. We did start one for tires because we knew it's coming up. It would technically be an envelope, except that we don't want to put it in an envelope. We're just leaving it in the, um, in the bank account. And then the other one was Christmas gifts. Um, that is also in the bank account. And then uh, we have our actual emergency fund is in the bank account. So um, our income this month, or this month, why do I keep saying this month? Um, for this pay period, uh, without the overtime, he made eighteen eighty nine twenty one. I only got a measly $102 um, from disability. They are, something's messed up with it, and I don't know what's going on. I know I'll get the money eventually, but um, I'm not, uh, it's whatever. <laughs> and then um, we got a, a, an education reimbursement uh, for some books that we paid for for Tommy's first semester. He's now halfway through the second semester. Um, and so that $400, we actually already have money put to the side for books for every semester. It gets reimbursed, but we just keep putting it, refilling it. So we don't actually need to worry about this $400. It's actually income for us. So um, that $400 is um, income, which helps out a lot considering um, the lack of, of overtime. So that came out to about $2,400, and with all of the bills, um, plus we still have the other um, half of rent to pay um, in the bank account. Uh, in the end, only $180 is going to our snowball. We had $400 to the snowball from earlier. They're both just sitting in the bank account till the end of the month to make sure that everything's good. And um, that student loan thing, that, that's an example of why we would not just put the money right away onto the next on our snowball. Um, so uh, we'll see how that goes. I think we should be good. And then my birthday is also coming up, so I expect to probably get some birthday money. Well, I know I will. My mom's already said she's going to send me about $200. So 
I'm not sure if I'm going to put it to the snowball. I desperately need work clothes if I get a job, so I think I'm going to hold it off to the side and um, buy clothes with it if we do, in uh, if I do indeed get a job. By the way, on the job front, I have another uh, phone interview today, a FaceTime interview with a different company. Um, so we'll see how that goes. It's a um, an ice cream company that is moving down from Seattle that's extremely popular. I think they have one storefront in LA right now, but they're going to expand it all over LA. So um, I'm doing, I'm applying for an HR position in that department. So we'll see how that goes today. I'm hoping, I'm really nervous about a FaceTime interview. It seems very awkward to me, um, but I'm going to do my best. I'm just going to go into it and try not to be nervous and everything. So um, that is the budget. Uh, I haven't gotten to starting the uh, in next month. I usually, by this point, at least start making the list for the next month. But um, things have just been crazy. So I'll get to it probably tomorrow or something. And then my lovely rip from Emma. Emma ripped my budget sheet. Darn her. But it's okay. Um, all right. Next thing, the uh, uh, meal plan for the next two weeks. Um, tomorrow is breakfast for dinner and then starts the new uh, meal plan. We're going to do meatloaf. I always um, make enough for leftovers, but I didn't actually plan a leftover meal because it's the weekend. We'll probably eat it on Sunday as a, um, for lunch. So um, uh, I could possibly have a leftover dinner for, with that too. Then I'm doing my usual um, make a big batch of shredded chicken for uh, tacos, nachos, and quesadillas. We're going to have all those three in a row next week. Doing it this way actually saves us a ton of money because we only need about two, maybe three breasts for this at the most for all of us um, for all three meals. So I just throw the three frozen into the crock pot with some, um, I'll either do salsa, maybe a little bit of salsa and taco seasoning. And then when it's done, I just shred it up and we have it for three nights. We're going to have pasta on Wednesday. Wednesday night, um, I have a meeting every Wednesday night. So I like to make something in advance before the meeting. And then Tommy can pop it in while I'm in the meeting. And then I can come home and eat. So um, we're going to have pasta on Wednesday and Thursday. will be leftovers from that. Our usual pizza every other Friday. Um, still have a couple frozens in the freezer. So we're um, just having that. Um pork roast. I bought a pork roast that was on sale a few weeks ago. It's in there. I thought I'll just make this up on Saturday night next week and then have it as leftovers because it's pretty big on Sunday. Uh, and we'll just pair it with different sides, potatoes or rice or whatever we want to do. Um, Monday we're going to do burgers. It's one of my husband's favorite meals. He likes to have sweet potato fries with them. I'll probably have a salad with mine. Uh, no buns. We just eat the burger with some cheese. And we'll have grilled ham and cheese on Tuesday. Another cheap meal. We always have the items on hand for my husband's lunches. I'll just grill it up and probably make a side of soup or something with it. Uh, or salad, maybe. On Wednesday night, the night before Thanksgiving, I have a feeling I will not want to cook. So I have a bag of frozen pre-made spaghetti sauce with um, meat in it that I'm going to just warm up and um, I'll just boil some pasta and we'll have uh, just a quick pasta meal that night. Thanksgiving, I am taking the former Mrs. Jones advice and I am going to actually buy some of the main stuff for Thanksgiving um, from a local restaurant. I haven't decided which yet, but I'm thinking about Claim Jumper. They always offer a nice Thanksgiving meal to pick up if you'd like. And we'll just get the turkey and... Um, I might, I, do, I might just get the turkey this year. I don't know. I don't want to buy mashed potatoes out. I like to make our own mashed potatoes. Um, I can make stuffing incredibly easy. Um, but that, if anything, I'll probably get stuffing. Uh, maybe mac and cheese for my husband. I know mac and cheese is a popular thing too, and I believe Claim Jumper offers it. I don't eat macaroni and cheese, so I could care less. But And we'll just get a frozen pie. Um, we're just going to take it really easy this year. Uh, he was going to go out of town. Uh, the flights ended up being too much money, so it'll be just the three of us, as far as I know. And we're just going to like have a nice, relaxing day, and we're not going to be crazy 
busy trying to make a meal that, you know, it just, in the end, it really wasn't worth all the, the hassle and the stress. We'll have leftovers for the next two days. Oh, by the way, I also bought a ham. Um, they, have, they have the hams, you know, on sale right now, probably for Christmas. I'm, I'm going to assume some people might do ham for Thanksgiving, too. I'm not a big turkey fan, so I'm thinking I'm going to make the ham on Thanksgiving. It's pre-cooked, pre-cut, everything like that. You just basically warm it up. It's one of those spiral maple brown sugar hams. So I think I'm going to do that. And we'll have plenty of leftovers through the weekend. So we may not even need to go out and get the turkey. I may actually be making Thanksgiving, but it's going to be very simple. I'm not making like dressing from scratch or anything like that. I'm just going to, or stuffing is what we call it, um, from scratch. I'm just going to go get the stovetop box and we're going to enjoy it. I might add some sausage to it or something because that's yummy, but... Um, and then the 29th is my birthday, but that's into the next paycheck. And um, so that we're having a very simple, very cheap uh, meal plan for the next two weeks. Uh, but I did, however, increase our grocery budget to $200 from $160 for two weeks. Um, and this is the list. And most, some of it's going to be a few Thanksgiving things, but I felt like we needed the increase because we're getting very bare at home. So... Um, it's a lot of stuff just for our meals, our everyday food, um, nothing too crazy. So there's our list, uh, for Sam's and Walmart. Maybe I'll do a haul video. We'll see. Actually, I probably won't because we're super busy this weekend, but we'll see. And then lastly, for our envelopes, I have, um, it all planned out how many 20s we need, how many 100s we need. So this is a nice little um, thing to have. If I send my husband in or me, I can just hand it right over to the teller and say, hey, here's how I want it broken down. Um, and that's it. So uh, thanks for budgeting with me, you guys. I have to go get ready for my phone interview, go do my hair, do some makeup. I want to research the company some more so I know a little bit more. So um, that's about it. Uh, thank you all for watching our videos and don't forget to hit a uh, like or subscribe or leave us a comment if you have any questions and we will talk to you all later. Bye.